how do you explain the ratings being down? I mean, it was a nice show, good show. You'd know better more than that, more about that than I ever would. But why would the ratings be off? I, I, I you know what? I, 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 I don't understand. I think that uh, a lot of uh, the ratings have to do with who's hosting uh, the show. My, my personal thing. I think uh, you know, last year the ratings uh, were up because. Um, uh, Seth MacFarlane is very popular, and I think he, he brings a, a very young demographic uh, to the Oscars, uh, sure. the viewership of uh, the actual production of the show. And I, I, I don't know, I think it's, they try to pick a host that's going to make a, a big impact on the viewership. So if it was down, you know, I'm sure it'll be back up next year because whoever watched it is saying the same thing. They've had uh, rave reviews. A lot of people say it was absolutely stunning. And uh, like I said, having Lady Gaga completely out of the genre that she is uh, in, where she's become very successful as a multi-million selling uh, music machine, uh, to uh, doing uh, Mary Poppins was amazing. Mm -hmm. So, I, I, I mean, uh, viewership, uh, television's got some big competition now, Billy. It's not the only game in town anymore. So. Yep. No, I understand. No, it wasn't, a, it wasn't a slight on the show. It just you wonder why uh, it went down, and you'd like to know who was the smart guy or girl who asked Lady Gaga to say, how do you like this? I mean, that was a brilliant move. Mm -hmm. I, I agree with you. And, and, and that, uh, when you do stuff like that, Billy, you're very perceptive. You, break, you expand your audience base, you know. And also uh, Lady Gaga's fans, uh, who probably never heard of the sound of music, uh, uh, or Mary Poppins, and uh, I think it, it just gives them a little uh, taste of uh, something that's uh, in the history books that we all, I grew up on that music. Um, but here, here's the thing, the Oscars, whether the ratings were down or not, were the hottest topic on social media. The, all the tweets, uh, all the stuff on Facebook, all the stuff on Instagram, that was, if you t take a look on Sunday night, it, it basically monopolized the airwaves. I don't know how they could say that the uh, it was down a couple points on viewership. You know, I'll just give my opinion here. Neil Patrick Harris is a nice guy, very competent actor. But I think if you, if you have a something like that, you got to go with star power. Go with a Brad Pitt or somebody big. Brad Pitt doesn't have the personality. He could do it. He he, he, he does not have the personality. They tried to go a couple of years ago. Uh, the year before, Seth MacFarlane with, uh, what's his name? He's a big actor, great actor. I'm a big fan of his acting. Uh, he, one of the X-Men, what's his name? He can sing, he can dance. Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman, and, you know, they, 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 he was very criticized. Like, you know, uh, and Billy Crystal tried to make a comeback, and he's got huge star power, and they love him. People love Billy Crystal. He's a funny guy. Mm -hmm. And he, he was just too nervous the second time. I think that Eddie Murphy... I, I've never seen Eddie Murphy uh, uh, host the Oscars. I think he could do it. He's very talented, well-rounded. Uh, he's got the comedic part. I think that a John Stewart could handle it. But I, I think uh, Neil Patrick Harris did a great job. And, and I think that's, that's one of the things that they use in the marketing of who's going to host the show. And that really brings, because people are curious, on what they're going to do. Seth MacFarlane did exactly what he's known to do. We lost a good one in Robin Williams. Yeah, Robin Williams is uh, another brilliant, you know, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. But there's, there's a lot of good guys, and, and they keep moving them around. And I, I think that next year they'll, uh, they'll look to, uh, you know, Jimmy Fallon's uh, star is shining big time. Uh, you got um, Seth, uh, what's the new guy who's late night now? There's, Seth Myers? Seth, uh, Jimmy Kimmel? Uh, Seth, Myers. Seth Myers. Thanks. No, Seth Myers. Yeah. That's my shine, that star is shining big time. So, you know, but the Oscars is, is a very cool thing to watch on a Sunday night, no matter how old you are. Yeah. Right, Billy? No matter if you're in your uh, teens or you're in the... Into one of those demographics. Yeah. I mean, I think, I think, <laughs> I think it's great. 